These are clips from the first two years of my channel, those being 2021 and 2022. But you see, these clips didn't always look this good, as I have learned so much about shooting and color grading since then. So, I decided to take Dehancer Pro for a walk down memory lane and see what it could do for past mistakes. This will be a demonstration of Dehancer for Premiere Pro. I am Scott, just a dream-obsessed, passionate colorist. Dehancer is of special value to the Adobe Creative Cloud, because Adobe has no built-in film emulation, unlike DaVinci Resolve, Premiere Pro at $22.99 per month, or over $275 per year is not cheap, or $2,758 per decade is not cheap. And then the Creative Cloud, you know what we really want. At $59.99 per month, or over $719 per year, or $7,198 per decade, it's really not cheap. Dehancer Pro, by comparison, is a bargain. And with that, let's get sentimental. I was very proud to discover and share this place. I mean, sparkling, tropical-like waters in the middle of the suburbs. But the image is just too bright and washed out for my taste. I prefer a cooler, deeper look. Yeah, it was a cool place, but I clearly didn't know what I was doing yet and still learning. And this is what I got with Dehancer Pro. Not too bad. That's probably why I didn't include it in the intro reel to this video. And this is how I got the look in Premiere Pro with Dehancer. First I went with Kodak 3 Vision 50D, a true motion picture stock. Then I went with the Kodak 2383 print film, and I cranked up the color density, but pulled down the saturation a bit. Then I enabled film compression and turned up the tonal range. This means the film compression tool applies to more of the tones within the image. And then I enabled the color head and added yellow and red, as well as cooling the shadows and warming up the highlights. Then I added 35 millimeter film grain and then entered the custom settings and lowered the film resolution a bit. And then I added 35 millimeter halation. And finally, I added 35 millimeter film breath and turned the color flicker all the way off. And that's it. This shot of Parker Dam was fun because I drove all the way to the Arizona border to get it. It's pretty good for a beginner too, but I still think it is too pale and ordinary for my taste. And then with Dehancer Pro I achieved the kind of moody and dense image that I like to make. This is what I did. First, I enabled Kodak Vision 350D, then Kodak 2383 print film, added some contrast, took away a little saturation and turned up color density. Then film compression, once again, with a maxed out tonal range setting. Then expand to add more black and more white. Then I enabled the color head and added yellow and red and cooled shadows and warmer highlights. Then 35 millimeter film grain with a lowered film resolution, then 35 millimeter halation, 
and then film breath with no color. And that's it. San Onofre with its decommissioned power plant and coastline with long rolling waves is epic. And the occasion was a field trip with my surf class. Still, the image is brighter than I like. Dehancer Pro allowed for a more mellow and distinctive image. First, I chose Kodak Vision 350D film, then Kodak 2383 film print. then film compression, then the color head for more yellow and red, cooler shadows and warmer highlights, then 35 millimeter film grain with lower film resolution, then 35 millimeter halation, and 35 millimeter film breath with no color. And that's it. And here is the surf montage from the same trip with the same settings applied. This small mountain town in eastern San Diego County was another place with epic status in my mind. Once again, these shots were pretty, but also bleachy and a little too digital. Then with Dehancer, I achieved a softer, more film-like image. Now let's see the settings. Once again, Kodak Vision 350D film, then Kodak 2383 film print. Then film compression with maxed out tonal range. Then expand to raise the whites. Then the color head to add red and cool the shadows. Then 35 millimeter film grain with lowered film resolution. Then halation and finally film breath with color at zero. And that's it. This is another small mountain town that I drew great inspiration from. Once again, the visuals were too hot and bleachy for my taste. And Dehancer Pro comes to the rescue yet again. First came Kodak Vision 350D film with the push pull set to two. Then came Kodak 2383 print film. Then came film compression with a maxed out tonal range. Then came expand to subtract some black. Then the color head to add yellow and red and to cool down the shadows. Then 35 millimeter film grain with lowered film resolution in 35 millimeter halation and finally 35 millimeter film breath with color at zero and that's it surprise yet another small town that inspired me this time i overall really liked the imagery it's pretty balanced but it's still just a little too digital and with dehancer pro I'm able to just get a little more cinematic softness that I like. Checking the settings, first Kodak Vision 350D with the push pull set to 2, then Kodak 2383 print film, then film compression. Once again, I maxed out the tonal range value and then expand for reduced blacks. Then the color head with added yellow and red and cooler shadows. Then 35 millimeter film grain with lowered film resolution. Then 35 millimeter halation and then 35 millimeter film breath with color at zero. 
And that's it. And the first night shot of this video. This was a beautiful night with a light rain. And Dehancer Pro just removes the digital limitations of the original. First, Kodak Vision 3 500T with the push pull set to 1. Then Kodak 2383 print film. Then film compression. Then the color head with added blue, red, cooler shadows, and warmer highlights. Then 35mm 500 film grain with lowered film resolution. Then 35mm halation and then 35mm film breath with color at zero, and that's it. And here we have something new, again. The first rain shot of this video. This time I used Fuji Eterna Vivid 500, you know, to get more of the cool look. Of course, Fuji 3513 print film, then film compression, then expand with a slight black increase, then the color head to cool the shadows and warm the highlights, and then 35mm film grain with lowered film resolution, then halation, and at last, of course, film breath with color at zero. And that's it. I got this footage of Pirate Tower at the crack of dawn. These are some of my favorite digital images, but Dehancer can still add some pop. To lean into the cool look, I chose Fuji Eterna Vivid 500 again. With the push-pull set to negative 0.5, then Fuji 3513 print film with color density at 50, then expand with added black and white for more contrast, and then film compression, then the color head for more red and cooler shadows, Then 35mm film grain with lowered film resolution. Then halation and finally film breath with color at zero and that's it. I think you get the idea of how I use Dehancer. For the rest of the video I am going to run through a few more shot comparisons. The library was already a beautiful shot but it only became more polished with Dehancer. The hotel was a stunning subject, but Dehancer made it just a little more rich. Dehancer's halation really makes night scenes magical.
This is me in one of my earlier surfing videos. And Dehancer just makes it cooler. And this is me in the gym, shot on a GoPro. And Dehancer just refines the look. The Mandir was one of my favorite shots ever, and it really didn't need anything, but Dehancer doesn't hurt. And this collection of shots from Balboa Beach shows how Dehancer can reveal shadow detail in an elegant way.
Dehancer Pro simply offers refinement. And with that, blessings.